Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make leader stats with Data Store all in one video, so, you know, that's pretty cool. So first thing we're going to need is the actual leader stats, so go into Service Script Service, click the plus, and enter in the script. And let's name the script Leader Stats. After that, go into the script and just write what I write. So game dot players dot player added con connect function and then write player. Go down line local leader stats equals to instance dot new in the quotation mark folder. After that, go down line and then write leader stats dot name equals to quotation marks leader stats and make sure all of this like in the quotation marks is lowercase and I go down the line and write leader stats dot parent equals to player so this creates a leader stat folder inside the player so after that you can go down and write local uh, I'm gonna write money because I want money inside the leader stats you can write whatever you want it doesn't really matter it's just the value so local money it goes to instance dot new and then quotation marks int value. After that, go down the line and then write money dot name equals to money. And then go down the line and then write money dot parent equals to leader stats. So now that we got an int value in the leader stats, I'm actually gonna put one more because the data store I'm showing you actually works with more than one value. So I'm going to just quickly create another one. For example, let's say, let's make a level. Let's make an int value for level. So local level equals to instance dot new quotation marks int value. Go down the line and then level dot name equals to quotation marks level. Go down the line and then level dot parent equals to leader stats. So that's just a very quick script for leader stats. So after that, going back to the service script service, click the plus and enter in a script. And let's name the script the data store. Just like that. So after you got the data store script, go into the data store script and then just write what I write. So local data store equals to game colon get service and then bracket should appear and then quotation marks data store service and for that after the brackets just write colon get data store which is this one right here and then more brackets should appear and quotation marks and this is whatever you want so I'm gonna name mine save data so it's a pretty long line but it should look like that after that go down the line I'm gonna zoom in again and then write game dot players dot player added colon connect function and then brackets player so when the player joins the game we're going to load their data so we're gonna put a quick little pause and then local player local player ID equals to quotation marks id and then underscore and then after the quotation marks dot dot player dot user id after that go down the line and write local save one so this is um where you can add multiple saves so this is going to be for our first value which if we go back to leader stats is the money so local save one goes to player dot leader stats dot money make sure that um the money over here uh, is the same as the money you put in the quotation marks or else it won't work and then to show you that it works with more than one I'm going to put in the second one, so local save 2 equals to player dot leader stats dot level. As you can see, the other one over here is level. After that, go back to the data store, go down to lines, and then local 
get saved he goes to data store colon get a sync and then put in quotation and then put in brackets and then write player ID after that go down the line and then write if get saved then so if the data was saved then save one dot value equals to get saved and then put in square brackets one and then you can do the same thing for save two so save two dot value equals to get saved and then square brackets two and then after that go down the line and then write else after that go down the line and then write local number for saving equals to and then write these weird brackets and then write save one dot value comma save two dot value now if you have more than two saves and, and you named it save three just go comma save three dot value but for now we only have two so just leave it like this for now after that go down the line and then write data store colon get a sync and then bracket player ID comma number for saving and end so after the end over here go down two lines and then write game dot players dot player removing colon connect function and then write player and then go down a line and then write data store colon set a sync and then brackets and then and then quotation mark id underscore and after the quotation marks and then dot dot player dot user id and then weird brackets and then write player dot leader stats dot money money dot value and then comma player dot leader stats dot level dot value so just make sure that the um the, the the words before value is the same as up here and then if you have more after if you have more than two like if three then you can go like comma player dot leader stats and then blah 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 so that should be the entire script this is the data store and this is the leader stats so the last thing we need to do is go into game settings go down to security and then turn on HTTPS request and enable studio access to API services and then press save and then publish to Roblox and let's go test it out so after you've published your game and made it public or you no know, friends only um, uh, go to your game to test it out because it doesn't work in Roblox Studio So I just loaded into the game and you can see this is our leader stats uh, You've got money and level and right now I have zero of both So this is the brick I created and we'll just get some stats real quick There you go. Let's stop at there. So I have 8550 money and 1425 levels So what we're gonna do right now is just leave the game We're gonna go into servers. Let's refresh the servers make sure that the servers are closed and then press play again and you can see I joined the server and over here we still have 8550 money and 1425 levels so yeah um, that's how you make leader stats with multiple values with data store that can save multiple values and that'll be it for this tutorial hopefully you enjoyed it or found it helpful if you did, um, you know, that's cool, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!